How's it going, fourth graders? We are at the end of chapter one. So we have a nice little review video going over some word problems and two practice problems for you to do on your own tonight. So let's go. Here's our first word problem. During summer vacation, a state park had 248,368 visitors and a water park had 214,626 visitors. The zoo had more visitors in the water park but fewer than the state park. Which of the following could be the number of visitors at the zoo? Okay, well, let's think back. So over the summer, there was a state park and a water park. It looks like the state park had more visitors than the water park. Okay, and then they're saying the zoo had more visitors than the water park, but fewer than the state park. So that number is going to be somewhere in between the state park visitors and the water park visitors. Okay, so it's gonna be in the middle. So now they're asking me which of the following could be the number of visitors at the zoo. So really, I'm looking for a number that's between 248,368 and 214,626. Okay, so let's go through these options and see what can go in between these numbers. So let's look at this one, 201,369. Well, I see that it starts with 201,000. I already know 201,000 would be less than 214,000. So that can't be it. I'm going to cross that one out. Okay, let's look at B. 212,729. Well, I see 212, it starts with 212,000. Again, I know 212,000 would be before 214,000. So that can't be it either. I would cross that one out too. Let's look at the next one. 244,321. Well, it starts with 244,000. Let's look at my other two numbers, 248, 214. Hey, 244,000 would go in between. So maybe that's my answer. But let's check and make sure that letter D doesn't work either. Let's see, D, 263,023. Well, I see it starts with 263,000. I know that is greater than 248,000, so that cannot be it. So I guess my answer that I'm left with is C, 244,321, because it's in between there. Do you see how I showed my work for this problem? This is a good strategy to use and make your feel, yourself feel confident in your answer because you showed the work. You demonstrated which answer choices are less than, which answer choice was greater, and which answer choice actually fit and answered the question. Okay, moving right along. Here's our next word problem. Last week, about 621,860 viewers watched a television show on sharks. What is the greatest whole number that rounds to 621,860? Okay. So what are they talking about? Um, people who watched a show on sharks. Hmm, maybe it was Shark Week. Excellent. So the amount of people that watched that show on sharks was 621,860. Got it. Now, the real question is, what is the greatest whole number that rounds to 621,860? So I have to think of a number that would round to this. Hmm. So if this is my end product. I need to think of a number that would round to this. Well, let's see. Let's think. With 621,800... 65 work? Mm, no, that would round up, right? The greatest whole number, I'm going to start in the second to last place. 
the posse, the posse number five would bump that up to a seven. So no, that wouldn't work. Hmm. I know my rule for rounding is five or above, give it a shove, four or below, just let it go. So if four is the greatest number that still rounds down, ooh, let's try, let's try ending it in a four then. 621,864. Let's see if that rounds down to 621,860. So underline, bossy arrow, four below, let it go. So the six would stay the same. Everything to the left would stay the same. And everything to the right, the bossy number, turned to a zero. Hey, that's the number I need. Awesome. Now, let's not forget that they said the greatest whole number that would round to that. I think I'm right because 64, that's as high as we could go, right? We couldn't do 65, that would round up to 870. 64 is the highest we could go that would still round down to 621,860. So, my final answer would be 621,864. These types of problems are a little tricky because you have to think of a number that would round to this, right? You gotta pay close attention and then think, hmm, if I have to think of the greatest number, right? It would obviously be above, but it'd still have to round down. Okay, last practice. Mario fills out an information card. His zip code is 83628. His area code is 208. Which statement about the value of the 2 in 83,628 in 208 is true? <clears throat> well, let's see. Mario has a zip code and an area code. I mean, it gives us those numbers, but the question really doesn't refer to, you know, zip codes and area codes. It's just kind of using those numbers. So I'm really just going to focus on this question here, right? Which statement about the value of 2 in 83,628 and 208 is true. Well, it's asking about the value. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide what the value is of these twos. So in the first one, they give us the zip code, 83,628, right? This two is underlined. What's the value of that two? The value of that two is 20 because the two is in the tens place. Two tens is the same as 20. So let's look at 208. This is the 2 that's underlined. What's the value of that 2? The value of this 2 is 200. The 2 is in the hundreds place, so we could say 200s, but really it's worth 200. So now that I know the values, I need to look at their relationship, right? 20, let me get my different color here, 20 and 200. Well, I can see the 2 in 208, right, is greater in value than the 2 in 83,628. And oh, do you see that it is one place value over? You see this too? It's actually one place value to the left. And I know as you move, move place value to the left, each place value is 10 times greater. So really what I'm thinking is the 2 in 208 is 10 times greater than the 2 in 83,628. Hmm. So let's look at our answer choices. Now that I've kind of figured it out, I know this 2 is greater. I know this 2 is 10 times greater, actually. So let's look at our answer choices. A, it is the same in both numbers. Okay, definitely not. They are not the same value. B, it is 10 times as great in the zip code than it is in the area code. So they're saying this is 10 times greater in the zip code, right, than the area code. Well, that's the exact opposite of what I wanted to say. This is 10 times greater, so that can't be right. 
C, it is 10 times as great in the area code, this one, than the zip code, this one. Hey, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let me check the letter D to make sure that doesn't work either. D, it is 100 times as great in the area code than it is in the zip code. So they're saying 100 times greater in the area code than the zip code. Well, we're only moving over one place value, so that's only 10 times greater. So no, not 100 times greater. So, like we said before, right? The two in 208, or the area code, is 10 times greater than the two in the zip code. Nice job. Make sure you're showing all your work like this on your test, right? It'll make you feel confident, you'll know you're getting the right answer, and even if you still don't get the right answer, we will be able to go through your work after the test and help you correct any errors you might have made. All right, friends, practice problem time. You only got two, right? Write down the important information from the questions that you will use, and then go through the answer choices, right? Eliminate the ones that do not ma match your answer and find the one that does match your answer. I hope you notice that I did my own work first because I trust myself. And then I really matched my answer to an answer choice. That's always the best way to go because if you read the answer choices first, it might get you all mixed up, right? You might be tricked right off the bat. So always do your work first, match your great answer to the correct answer choice. All right, have a great night, friends.